Okay, it's the next day. I've read some of the manual. Um, small problem though. Okay, it says here connect the power supply, connect uh, the cables and everything. Um, and then it says, oh, by the way, you need to install a battery for the real-time clock, so pull everything apart. Uh, I would suggest that perhaps do this, then do this. Anyway, I've managed to track down a battery, CR1220. So I'm going to uh, pull it apart and install it. Okay, so there are a few screws here. Instructions say we just need to undo these three. Uh, so don't worry about these ones. Uh, oops. Cucks. Hold on there. Okay, three screws. Stick them there. I'm sure I won't lose them. And too easy. So, which comes off? So it looks like this one comes off here. There we go, that's the keyboard off. Um, do, do, do. Put this safely to one side. Here we go. So, do, do, do. there we can see, there's the battery holder. I should have opened up this. All right. Child proof, so they don't go and swallow the bloody thing. So we can see, there's the battery holder. Not much else to it, really. Um, these are apparently for future expansion, possibly a cassette, um, cassette port, for example. Do do a few other headers. So it's got two SD cards. This one and the mini SD at the back. Um, only works with newer cards. Still trying to get this child proof packaging open for the battery. Um, okay. So go down. Read the instructions, Brett. Ba ba ba. Okay. Which is right. Ba, da, da, da. Okay. Push the battery release lever on the bottom flat side away from the battery. Remove it. Next, insert new battery with the side label positive facing up and press it into place. Okay. How much force should I use? That was okay, that was okay. So they go under there. I think it goes like that. There we go. So yes, only one one SD card can be used at a time. If you do have this micro SD installed, then this takes precedence, apparently. Because um, this is, I would have preferred a full size SD card at the back, but um, this is quite fiddly to get in and out. Anyway, that's done. Where did I put the rest of them? There we go. And it goes back on like this. No, made in Malaysia. Standard floppy drive. Sorry, my big hands in the way. That's the floppy drive. And that's the actual board itself. Wow. Lots of little extra attachment places. Anyway, I'm rambling again. Put the keyboard back on. And, oh, these good old clips at the back. The clips in.
go. Zoom back out a bit. Okay, clips are in. Almost. Looking good. Okay. Put three screws back in. Oopsie. Du, du, du. Faxi. Ja kolme. Okay, that is done. Mm. Not too sure about those clips. Maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll pull it apart and just double check. But let's see. Because one other thing you've got to do is you've got to you've got to format the SD card in the machine itself. You can't format it elsewhere. Oh, we got it. Yeah, we've got it pushed in. Turn that on. Okay. Let's see if we can go up to here. Okay. Not happy. Probably because this card isn't, that's right. Unplug the card at the back because that one takes priority and it's not formatted with the ROM. There we go. Now it says to bring up the, to bring up the utility menu. Hold down Alt. Okay. Power off on for flash or util menu. Hold Alt and power cycle for utility menu. Oh, okay. So I've actually got a power cycle door. There we go. Okay. Configure. Let's just double check the clock again. Okay. Okay. The joystick, normal. Joystick one Omega Mouse Detection Conservative, blah, blah, blah. Page one of one, oh, along the top, chipset, real-time clock. Okay, I've got to re reset the real-time clock. Of course, I don't know what the bloody time is, do I? Um, how do you do the, huh, real-time clock. Do I just type the time in? Okay, pausing. Okay, it's 11, 46, 47, go 46 on the 18th of May, 2022. Okay, DMagic revision, whatever standard. Uh, disk controller uses SD card disk image or three and a half inch floppy drive, default disk image. Long file name support, which is experimental. Okay, F7. Uh, exit. Exit and reboot to onboarding. Save as defaults. Save as defaults. And exit. Okay. Are you sure you wish to save? Well, all I did was change the time. Okay. All right, so again, hold Alt. Power on, keyboard test, SD card, FD. Okay, so I think you can probably do it from basic 65 as well. Okay. Sixteen sixteen MIBI bytes. SD card found, that's the internal one. SD card, okay, so SD card zero is the internal, SD card one, no card detected. Now I've pushed it in. 
and then do, 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 do. All right, maybe you gotta try one more time. Okay, two. There we go. Okay, it's found the card. 32, well, 30,000 30, bytes. Do, do. Okay, card number one. To delete everything or type, fix MBR to rewrite MBR. Okay, format card, new partition, but 32 file system. Okay, type, delete everything to continue. Okay, does it have to be capitals? Oh. Need everything, please. Counting down. <clears throat> 35, 34, 33, 32, 31. Okay, so it's writing the Mega 65 system partition header sector. Okay, racing, racing, frozen, writing fat boot sector, information block. Okay, root directory, clearing file system data structures. Okay. Going through it again. Mm -hmm. Fascinating stuff. Da, da, da. So once this SD card's formatted, then I should be able to copy stuff onto it. Okay. All right, it's putting the... Okay. Oh, good stuff. Okay. So now I can boot with it plugged in. Mega65.rom, banner, freezer... C64 thumb, C65 thumb, thumbnail, ROM load, monitor, audio mix, make this sprite designer, and then some disk images, Mega65, C64, on board, and popcorn. Okay, reboot to continue. Where's the reboot key? Uh, Simpsons joke. Okay, oh, just reboot. Okay, where's the reboot key? Now, okay, oh, right. So time is set, 21st of, okay, that is not, that's not what I set before, I think the time's probably right, 11.50ish, but it is um, 18th of May, 2018, no, I said, I said 2022, why is it going backwards? Um, how do I make it go forwards? Why? Okay. So how do I make it go? Going backwards, at least, okay. At least the month loops around. But how can I set it to 2022? Huh. I'm going to, hmm, all right. Let's change the video video mode. Okay, I can't set the video mode. Okay, disabled CRT emulation. Oh, shift lock off. Ah, because I had shift lock on. Idiot. <laughs> now I can increase the gear. Okay, da, da, da. and of course tab should work now. Uh, PAL 50 hertz. Test audio, press return, save and exit. Um, okay. Yep, looks good. We'll keep that. So can I return to save and exit again? There you go. Now it should have booted off the the uh, micro SD. Um, there we go. Exit to prime menu, exit to basic. 
So that's it. Oh, okay, I've got a print date, don't I? Yep. No print. There we go. 19th. And what was time? What was time? Ah, oh, TI. Okay. There we go. So now it's basically set up. And we can start reading about all the other stuff. Anyway, I'm going to copy some more software on. There we go. Done.